All righty, welcome to the Grand Odell. Where's the aeroplane? Oh my god, it's right here. Ah! It's my computer is dying inside. Now, welcome back everybody to the channel. Now, in a recent video where I talked a little bit about meme clips, we had this very interesting clip right here. What the plane doing? 13 million views. All right, we got to check this out. This got to be good. All right. That was actually the best clip ever I've ever seen in my life. Yes, this looks like some kind of interesting, kind of like Minecrafty style s simulator that simulates physics very well and has a good damage model. And you guys told me to play this game and maybe also destroy this aeroplane. So let's do that today. Yeah, this is the game called Teardown. It is somewhat of a new game. It costs 20 euros here on the Steam store. Let's see how it is. All right, let's just play, press play right here. Yes, everybody, welcome to the world of Teardown. Now, what this game really is, is, I mean, I explained it quite well. It's kind of like a Lego Minecrafty style game where you can download, you know, things to destroy, like, I guess, this factory house. Here we go. This is, uh, you know, we can easily install mods right here. Here we go. It's very easy. Here is the store site. And here we can download stuff here again, like a desert village that we can destroy or a map of New York to destroy, which is all very interesting, actually. And also we can download, you know, weapons to destroy, like an asteroid strike, which is an interesting weapon, isn't it? But there's also some normal things like a hook shotgun or a C4 explosive or a minigun. You know, everyday items we have, at least in America land. Now one of the most subscribed mod here for this interesting simulator or game is the Boeing 737. Yes, everybody. The one that we saw in the video, of course. This is the one, it has like a whole airport also included and it can fly and, and stuff like that, that's just crazy. Let's destroy some 737s today, yes! Okay, welcome to the 737 menu here. Um, we can have some options here actually. So the thing is we have the seat map right here, uh, where we can, you know, actually place some human passengers, I guess, into the cabin. Let's maybe fill the plane up a little bit here, or let's randomize this. Okay, we have a, oh, that's actually a few passengers now. What else can we do? Time and weather, that's pretty cool. Let's have uh, the time to just sunny, just have nice, we oh, we can also have like some thunderstorm, damn. That's crazy. What else can we do here? Other option, airplane falling. All right, we want that, of course. And uh, Cessna. I don't know what Cessna means here. All right, let's just spawn into our destructible 737. Oh, yes. There we go. After a bit of loading time, we are actually indeed in our 737. Yep, everybody, this is actually a proper 737 cabin that we have right here. And guess what? Well, we can destroy stuff, for example, with our sledgehammer, like this person. Sorry. This is the best thing ever. Yes, everybody. Now, we're going to initiate the challenge. Can we bring down an airliner with a sledgehammer? You know, we, you know, while it's in midair. That's actually a question I've been asking myself the whole time. Welcome to the business class. Let me just um, disturb you. Wait a second. Oh, yeah. That is not doing much damage. Yeah, I don't think you can just, like, easily bring an airliner down by just, you know, hitting against the cabin uh, wall of the, of the fuselage, right? Ah, that won't work. Uh, maybe you can break some windows. That would do a bit of an effect as well. That is not enough right here. But here we go! We have done our first proper damage to the plane. Now, what else would I do now to bring this plane down? You know what? Actually, there is actually a way, probably. How about we go into the cockpit and try to rupture the windshield? What are these guys doing here? All right, just some random people. Oh, I'm sorry. This is kind of a simulation of a Ryanair flight. Now, what we can do seriously is I think... Can we... Okay, we can, we can just open it this way. Great! Okay, welcome to Wizard one and welcome to the cockpit of the 737, I guess. Here we can see where we are, somewhere above the clouds, I would guess. What is the co-pilot doing, by the way? And the captain is what? Both are dead, aren't they? Um, and now they are. Okay, welcome to the captain's seat. Let's actually try to rupture this uh, windshield. I don't think that would be even possible in, in real life either. Because this windshield is so extremely thick. It's literally as thick as like a, a Kinder egg, for example. You know that one. Or like a probably not, like a normal egg. Yeah, that would make sense. All right, let's just go ahead and do this anyway. Oh my. Ah! Okay. Okay. All right. Now, <clears throat> close the door. Let's get out. Oh my. Oh my. This is bad. Oh, this is serious. Oh, the whole plate is falling. Apart and my Jesus Christ, my computer is lagging. Holy moly. Alright, everybody, we have we have just died. And oh, there's our Cessna that we spawned in. Okay, we have died and what now? Have we spawned back into the plane? Oh we have. 
Oh, this is... Oh, my God. The phrase per second, dude. So many Lego pieces that, that have to be uh, animated and, and calculated where they go and stuff like that. Holy moly. All right, can we go all the way into the back? Of course, the plate is now destructing itself in midair, and I think in real life this process would go a lot faster. It's basically just all falling apart right now. We can just see a whole lot of bodies flying around, just like we are literally flying around. Okay, can we all the way to the tail? Maybe let's lock ourselves into the into the lavatory. Oh my god, the f I'm, we have literally turned into potato PC graphics. Literally, my computer is starting to cry. Jesus Christ, this isn't- I have like an RTX 3080, how is this not working? Alright, come on, let's- oh, go all the way, come on. Shh, come on, lavatory. Oh my god. Yes, everybody, I think this simulator here could work as, like, a preparation for a Reiner fly. <laughs> Why am I always hating on Reiner? I don't even know. Oh my god, it's just absolutely bad. Oh my, oh my. Oh, the whole plane is still falling apart, right? Like, of course, again, this is taking a, a, bit of, a lot longer than real time. Because, oh my god, it has to calculate having the whole aeroplane fall apart. Holy moly. That is the best thing I've ever seen in my entire life. So yes, according to this flight simulator, at least it's very easy to bring down an airliner with a uh, sledgehammer by just completely, again, rupturing the windshield, even though that will be so hard to do, especially, you know, from all the pressure that's forced against the airplane from the outside. And oh my God, some a action, I guess. Oh yeah, the tail is falling apart. All right, let's just jump out. Let's just re release ourselves from this misery. This whole thing is seriously falling apart. I do want to see what it looks like from the outside. All right, yeah, this is, uh, this plane is broken. Maybe we should restart this, though, because my computer is literally crying right now. Gee, says. Yes, welcome back to a, oh, beautiful FPS experience. Let's maybe try some more things. We we can have a mi minigun. Oh, yeah, that's the best thing I've ever seen in my entire life. That's like proper weaponry for a, uh, a riot airplane. <laughs> And guys, we have a C4, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, you know what? Let's maybe blow up this whole aeroplane. Maybe start with a tail now. Okay, so let's just go ahead and get some... Why are so many people just lying on the ground for no reason? I don't get it. All right, here we go. C4. Yes. I mean, can we open the doors? I mean, in real life, that wouldn't be possible. Of course, again, because of all the pressure hitting against the aeroplane. Is that possible? No. Okay, it isn't. There's just some weird particles coming out. Okay, that's fine. All right, let's maybe go all the way to the front to the cockpit and just mm, detonate those bombs. This is the best simulator I've ever seen in my entire life. Oh my god, we've literally ruptured a, a hole into the... Sorry, into the fuselage, yeah. Now we have a bit of a outside view as well. Wait, what does... What, what does that look like here? Okay, I guess this is just storage. Don't know, maybe the center fuel tanks. I'm, I'm not good at 737 anatomy. Anyway, let's go ahead and get those C4s detonated. All right, pressing E. I mean, K. It says here, Jesus Christ. And oh my God, there's been an explosion. Yes. That has actually been super nice to see. All right, so what we don't actually have, by the way, animated or um, simulated is a proper aeroplane flying. So this is why there is no turbulence and stuff like that. Although it very well recreates the um, suction, of course, the de depressurization. And um, all right, so we have the same thing again. Plane is falling apart this time around, though. It's starting from the back. Here we go, that's just great to see. Okay, this is the further back here. Okay, this actually looks quite all right still, doesn't it? But then what happens if we detonate the bomb right next to us? Oh, it kills. All right, we have died, haven't we? All right, welcome back on board the 737. Just normal things you would see on board. Yeah. Great to see. Let's maybe try out some more stuff. I want to set fire to the aeroplane. You know what I mean? Mm, yes, it's time to finally get this uh, 737 lit. Oh my god, yes! Is there gonna be fire? There's no fire! Fire! Oh my god, and oh yeah, the plane. All right, it's broken. That hasn't taken a long time, Jesus Christ. Uh, all right, oh no, we're sucked out. Ah! That's not gone very well. Great, thank you very much. Now, let's maybe try something else than this 737. I'm searching for plane and, and most popular. We've got this right here. Plane versus Lux de Mar. So I guess what this now is simulating is a plane flying into a build. That uh, sounds interesting. Let's try this as well. And uh, oh, here we go. Welcome to the cockpit. All right. Okay. There's a lot of turbulence going on right now. This is what I all. Oh. Um. 
Okay, we've crashed into a building. That happened quite unexpectedly. But, oh my god, this animation is absolutely crazy. Let's do this again. Again, you're also from the cockpit view. What, what does this look like right here? All right, here's the building. Oh my goodness. And, ooh. That hasn't gone very well at all. All right, that's uh, just that's just great. Welcome to the Grand Hotel. Uh, room service. I hope you guys are doing fine. Uh, let's get out of here. Good. I like how the music here is still playing while there's a plane that's just crashed into this whole hotel. Funny, there, there's no fire here because, of course, the fuel on board the plane would normally, you know, cause one. But that's another story. Let me try experiencing this from another view. Uh, maybe from the ground view. That would work probably very well. Alrighty, welcome to the Grand Hotel. Where's the aeroplane? Oh my god, it's right here. Ah! It's my computer is dying inside. Oh! That was crazy, dude. Seriously, my computer is dying inside. Wow, so that's what that looks like. The thing is, the crashes are always a little bit different, aren't they? For example, here, this wing now is actually stuck uh, in the building, whereas before it flew to the ground. So this is interesting. All right, the Grand Hotel indeed. All right, I mean, what else we have right here? Two new planes. Plane crash dynamics. That's exactly our cup of tea. All right, so here we are. Welcome to the air, and we can now choose our plane. <sighs> so there's a few planes right here. This one has no lag, mostly not laggy. Let's maybe try the control controllable hang glider maybe that's gonna be a little bit easier all right so welcome aboard the controllable hang glider i guess we can control oh all right never mind we're in the water now that's just great to see yes all right can we how do we how do i control this all right come on can i can i like interact here with this please let me interact oh my god okay i think i have control i think i have control i think i, I, I have to like i have this very mediocre yoke let's go ahead and crash the aeroplane now ah no, I want to go down, you stupid aeroplane. Into the ground. Let's see what that looks like. Okay, grass coming up. All right, it's... All right, it's been a crash. Let's maybe try the Boeing. See what that's going to look like. All right, welcome aboard our good old 737. What's going to happen out here? Are we going to crash now? What does this look like? Come on. I can see we have the flaps out. I guess we're coming in for a bit of a landing right here. Come on, can we go into the front of the... Whatever that is here. What, what is that? Let's go to the... Oh... All right, we've seriously crashed. All righty, that uh, has uh, that has a lot of that is a lot of racket. That is, uh, oh my god, that is a lot of racket right here. We have crashed. Oh, oh, okay. All right, let's escape the wreckage right here. Oh my god, I'm sorry, Mr. Computer. Let's check out how this wreck. I like how this tree is literally on top of her 737. Nice to see. This, of course, wasn't like a proper nose down crash here into the ground, but more of like a crash landing. Uh, where the nose hit first, you can see that by it having fallen apart. Great. Other than that, I think this looks like quite a survivable landing, actually. So, yeah, guys, that is the simulator of, uh, what's it called again, Teardown. So, uh, thank you very much for watching today's video, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. As always, good night. Now, thank you to all my members here on YouTube, like Spice, Robbie, Middle Aged, Levi, Junk in the Trunk, Mubarak, Darren K, Oh Man, Moritz, John, Kelly Chaos, Death Rider, uh, Ragings, Noah, Yes Aviation, British Loser, One, Saturn, Cat, Sunno, Shadow, New, New York, and Jackie Boy. Stall, 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 stall.